Hello everybody, this is Nia Fada. I'm here with weekly astrological message. This is where I talk about celestial transits. We're all swimming in, all our all zodiac signs affected by. In the first part I talk in English, in the second I talk in astrologish. But before I even begin, I want to say there's a new Zoom. Um, um, there's a new Zoom course for beginners. You can contact me about there's a new group opening if it's interesting for you. All my details are at the slide at the end. Um, we are in a time that imagination is heightened, that we could be hopeless romantics, that we could wish for escape, you know, we would want to dream and recoil into our own world and sleep and rest. We could feel very tired, we could feel exhausted, we could feel that we don't want to cope with the ever-changing, fast pace of reality. We can feel reluctant to try and cope with the uncertainty that is attacking our, you know, the framework of our reality again and again. Um, nevertheless, this is a wonderful time to utilize creativity and spirituality and to reconnect with nature and others to reconnect to simplicity, to get yourself recharged by the natural and by the sacred and by the, um, you know, the, the artistic, the creative and the eternal. Um, when we head into this weekend, it could be quite a transformative weekend and quite a dramatic weekend and watching ourselves and understanding what is pushing us to react the way we do is a good thing through this weekend and can help us not be too total or um, not be compulsive or uh, not even too impulsive regarding how we answer situations and challenges in our lives. Um, when it comes to next week, after the weekend, it's really important to center ourselves around endearing and, 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 and uh, healing forms of communication, to be sensitive in the way we interact with others in our lives, or it could be a time that is a bit painful and hurtful if we're not careful. It is definitely a time to think about innovation and progress when it comes to our social circles, when it comes to our ideas, when it comes to the you know surroundings around us, the, 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 the people that you know are part of our lives and it's definitely a time for an update. Nevertheless, not a time to you know um, not appreciate people or projects that are in our lives right now because we think they are not and you know advanced enough or something so tolerance is important and when we come to the end of next week that's the energetic peak of this month we come to a full moon in the first degree of Aquarius we're going to talk more about it in the second part but generally speaking this is a highly energetic time a rebellious time a time that we require innovation that we one transformation that we want these new paradigms to shift in our lives more rapidly and to maybe even stabilize um, it is a time that we could want to indulge and enjoy the fact that we are in a physical body in a physical plane it is a time to watch out from excess and exaggeration whether it is spending too much money or eating too much sweet food or you know watch your cholesterol and sugar levels and your weight <laughs> and generally speaking you know indulgence is good as long as it's limited you know and definitely a great time for love and pleasure but uh, again keep it in a in a positive limited balanced um, kind of form in your life and then Saturday that's the full moon very energetic time and the energetic peak of this month and now to the second part in astrology where we really talk about the transit so we come from a time Thursday the 15th we have the Sun trining Neptune 
This is a highly imaginative time. This is a time that we could actually dream together. This is a time to reconnect to nature, to the simplicity of eternity, of creativity, of spirituality, of God, goddess, of creators, you know, and, and really draw power from those kinds of places. It is a really romantic time as well. And then Saturday the 17th, the sun is opposing Pluto, very transformative, very introspective as well and we could be a bit too dramatic a bit too total a bit too compulsive or impulsive with our reactions to things the way we handle things definitely a time for endearing uh, communication when monday the 19th mercury squares chiron the wounded healer this is definitely a time to watch out for further trauma um, concerning the social circles or communications that we have around us, things we say, things we think, our ideas are under scrutiny at this time. Mercury sextiles Uranus on Tuesday the 20th. That's a time to really think about innovation, progress, and walking forward when it comes to our social circles and interactions, our words, ideas, our information, and of course, communication. We could find new partners for commerce at this time as well. Thursday, the 22nd, Venus planet of relationships, love, and finance is opposed by Jupiter. Jupiter is known for bringing the lust for indulgence and excess when it comes to this transit. But being a responsible, ethical adult when it comes to this time, the end of next week, would be the most beneficial or would bring, would produce the most beneficial of outcomes because you would be able to utilize this time in the sky and enjoy yourself very much, but you would know your limits. Saturday, the 24th, uh, full moon conjunct, uh, full moon in the first degree of Aquarius, conjunct Pluto and Capricorn. And then from the other side, Saturn in Aquarius and then opposed by Mercury and Cancer. We have Venus and Aegea walking together into the sign of Virgo uh, over the same few days. You know, it's, 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 it's a time that requires healing, that requires innovation, that is highly rebellious, that wants to bring information that is updated, that counters the consensus and actually bring it forth with ideas producing uh, you know, new information and spreading it to cause further transformation in the social circles that we are part of. This is definitely a time that we want to change the system. Um, we have to be tolerant, tolerant towards others in our lives, towards projects in our lives, and understand that big organizations and definitely human society change really, really slowly. And this is the change that needs to occur over time. We're heading into turbulent water as it is financially, economically, politically. We have enough to deal on our platter, especially with the ecologic crisis that we're dealing with. So let's take our time. Let's take it one breath at a time. And let's work on changing ourselves because that's the only way we can change the world. Thank you for spreading your light. Thank you for spreading these videos. Thank you for commenting on them. May we all live long, prosper. This is Neophyter. Goodbye.